Yeah, good afternoon everyone. My name's, my name's David Hawkins. I'm the Stakeholder Relationship Manager for the Water Corporation for our Northwest region. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to be invited along this afternoon to, to provide you all with uh, an overview uh, and to have, to have the opportunity to provide an overview of how, how we at the Water Corporation have uh, delivered a suite of community projects using recycled wastewater as the catalyst to deliver significant social and economic benefits for the communities in which we operate in the, in the North West. All of which has been achieved through our strong stakeholder relationships and a little bit of thinking outside the box. So as I mentioned, I work for the Water Corp North West region, um, where we're responsible for water and wastewater services across the Pilbara and the Kimberley. <coughs> we're also a bulk water service provider for the Ord Irrigation District. In the West Kimberley, where I'm based, 43% of people identify as Aboriginal compared with a state and national average of about 3%. As an organisation, we've got a reconciliation action plan that focuses on closing the unacceptable gap in life expectancy, education and opportunity that exists between Aboriginal people and other Australians. This significant Aboriginal population in the North West region highlights the tremendous opportunity that we had to make a difference in helping to close this gap. Water Corporation's purpose is the sustainable management of water services to help make WA a great place to live and invest. It was this purpose, combined with a corporate focus on finding innovative ways to improve the way we do things, plus regionally a desire to improve the livability of the communities in which we operate, that were the key, three key drivers for our Kimberley Community Projects. We also had the support of our Minister who was passionate about regional development and improving Aboriginal employment and training outcomes. As a result, we've successfully developed a suite of community projects, all underpinned by the innovative and sustainable use of recycled wastewater which is sourced from our Broome North Wastewater Treatment Plant. So in Broome we operate, we operate two wastewater treatment plants, one um, our Broome South which was the original wastewater treatment plant in Broome. Um, it supplies recycled wastewater to the Shire of Broome's public open space irrigation scheme. And more recently our Broome North Wastewater Treatment Plant, which you can see on this slide, which was constructed a lot further out of town and too far away to deliver reuse water back to the Shire's reuse scheme. So in an Australian first we began using reuse water at Broome North to grow roads grass as a safe and environmentally friendly way of disposing of the excess wastewater from this site. Rhodes grass was specifically chosen because of its high nutrient uptake and demand in the West Kimberley as a popular uh, stock crop or fodder crop. Um, if you refer to the slide, you can clearly see the 32 hectare irrigation area in the top left hand corner. Um, so historically, we'd harvest a crop, a Rhodes grass crop every 10 to 12 weeks, depending on the season, um, bale the hay and sell it locally ourselves as stock feed. But but in all honesty, when we initially started doing this, we weren't, we weren't particularly good at it. <laughs> we, we weren't, we weren't um, yeah, we weren't farmers and so we weren't focused on how to maximise crop quality. Um, we're also trying to find buyers ourselves in the local market for the hay product, um, which was often time consuming. Uh, plus we didn't have any hay sheds on site, so roads grass would grow like steam during the wet season but we had, uh, we had nowhere to store it to keep it dry, so often it would get wet and become mouldy and we'd have to sacrifice it at, at giveaway prices. Um, but that didn't stop us recognising the potential of the unique operation that we had here, so we started exploring opportunities to involve Aboriginal groups um, in the farming operation, and we spoke to our uh, neighbouring station owner uh, which was actually owned by a local Aboriginal corporation in Broome to see if they were interested in taking over the farming operation of our Broome North plant, but they didn't think that they had the expertise at the time to take it on. So it, it was actually subsequently over a conversation and some bacon and eggs with the Shire CEO at Broome uh, one morning that prompted us to tee up a meeting with the Lions Club of Broome um, to discuss the prospect of them taking responsibility for specifically for the storage of the hay product and sale of the product in return for 50% of the sale proceeds. This led to the formation of the West Kimberley Community Grants Scheme and a new source of funding for community projects in the West Kimberley. 
we specifically chose to partner with the Lions Club of Broome because of their previous involvement in similar grant schemes and their community connections, particularly in the, in the farming community. The infographic that you can see here on this slide helps to explain the process, but essentially Broome's wastewater, it's treated, reused as irrigation water to grow hay, um, sold to local cattle stations as fodder with the proceeds flowing back into the community through the grant scheme. The scheme provides for grants of up to $10,000 each for schools and not-for-profit organisations to undertake projects that deliver benefits to, or specific benefits to communities in the West Kimberley. Since its inception a year ago, we've so far contributed over $80,000 to 16 projects supporting education, culture, environment and wildlife protection, Aboriginal health and projects that tackle drug and alcohol abuse. Uh, one of the community projects that we've um, helped support and fund was a series of Cooking Up Good Tucker community cooking classes which is delivered by Aboriginal elders in Broome. The classes taught women to use a combination of bush tucker and affordable foods to prepare meals for large families. The program was run out, run out of the Broome Women's Refuge Centre supporting women who were victims of domestic abuse. The regular cooking classes allowed them to uh, connect with culture and other women who were facing similar challenges and in similar circumstances. Um, we were really pleased the classes were exceptionally well attended and the feedback, and we got some great feedback, particularly uh, from the women regarding classes that taught foraging for bush tucker on country. Uh, we also provided a grant for a community empowerment event at Beagle Bay, which is one of, one of WA's largest and most remote Aboriginal communities. Uh, the, the grant funded installation of 21 signs around the community which were unveiled during a demonstration by Aboriginal elders demanding an end to excessive drinking, um, drug use and general antisocial behaviour in the community. The wording and design of the signs was developed by Aboriginal elders to sort of strengthen the effectiveness of the messaging and we there's actually the children within the community have even established a game of running from one sign to the next and and memorising the messaging. And the initiative's been so well received that the organisers are now looking to roll out similar signs in other communities up the Dampier Peninsula. Uh, another example of a, projects that, a project that received funding in the last round was a program to help Aboriginal teenagers in Broome transition from school into tertiary education or from school into the <coughs> permanent workforce. The 12-week 12 12 week program is being delivered by Nyamba Buriyaru, who are the um, traditional owners in Broome and the largest Aboriginal corporation in Broome. As part of the program, participants are working in various business units within the Yaru office. They're undertaking cultural immersion training with Aboriginal elders to learn about Kimberley languages, respecting, um, respecting culture and protocols and kinship. Um, they're establishing short and long-term life goals and they're all completing a Certificate 2 program in leadership. Uh, halfway through the program, one of the seven participants has already pursued one of her life goals and landed herself a temporary work position with the option of it becoming full-time once she's completed her traineeship. And another participant's also um, proactively exploring study and other work experience options to pursue at the end of the program. Uh, we've received some exceptional funding applications in the first year of the West Kimberley Community Grant Scheme. These are, just, these are just three examples of the 16 projects we've supported so far, and we're certainly looking forward to supporting a lot, many more in the, in the years to come. Um, in, in an extension of the West Kimberley Community Grant Scheme, we've also recently partnered with Aboriginal organisation WUNAN to support their Kimberley Education Excellence Program which has given 30, 30 Aboriginal girls from the East Kimberley the opportunity to attend high performing schools in Perth, Melbourne and Sydney. The girls all come from the East Kimberley towns of Wyndham, Halls Creek and Kununurra and as part of the program are housed with Aboriginal house parents who provide the support that they require while they're at school and living away from home. This is all built on the premise that uh, the students perform better at school if they still feel a connection to home and a connection to culture. Uh, in the East Kimberley, there's only 17% of Aboriginal people actually complete Year 12 compared to 54% of non-Aboriginal people in the region. Education has proven to be the most important factor for social and economic advancement <coughs> for Aboriginal people. So this program's got great potential to deliver significant positive change. 
Through the sale of the rose grass hay this year, we've raised $30,000 for our partnership with Wunan. Um, funds that are being used to provide for science, technology and math tutoring services for the girls and to, to help them with their studies and create positive flow on benefits for their, for their families and for the wider community. For the Wunan partnership, we specifically chose to support young girls in this program. There is actually a boys program as well, but it was already really well funded. Um, so this was a great opportunity for us to support young Aboriginal girls with a life-changing opportunity to receive the best possible education. In fact, we met the mother of one of the girls at a community event recently who said prior to, um, prior to receiving the tuition services that have been made available through the West Kimberley Community Grant Scheme, she was, at the, she was struggling with basic math concepts. but. Um, since receiving the tutoring support and being schooled away from home, she's, she's actually now an A-grade student. A -grade mm -hmm. student. Um, the next project that I wanted to talk about was another initiative born out of our really close relationships um, with a local Aboriginal corporation in Broome. Mama Balanjan Aboriginal Corporation are a not-for-profit organisation based in Broome, as I mentioned, with extensive experience in delivering land care and horticultural projects. Uh, that creates specific employment and training opportunities for local Aboriginal people. Early last year we entered into a partnership with Mama Balanjan, giving them access to 18 hectares of land at our Broome North Wastewater Treatment Plant to trial growing native and endangered tree species to create a seed bank using uh, recycled wastewater available from our plant. Once the trees are established, Mama Balanjan will go back to the site each year and harvest the seeds from the native and endangered trees to propagate more trees for use in their land restoration and revegetation projects across the Kimberley. This is the first time the Water Corp's been involved in provision of reuse water for this purpose and with 7,000 trees already established, Mama Balanjan's seed bank trial has proven that reuse water is a, is a fit for purpose alternative for native tree cultivation and horticultural projects. Since the inception of this project in 2016, there have been 135 young people who were previously unemployed or in welfare support uh, who have benefited from the training and employment opportunities that it's provided. They've all learned valuable new skills and have it, it's improved their long-term job prospects. All participants also completed a Certificate 3 in Conservation and Land Management through Broom TAFE as part of the program. Um, again, we got some really great feedback from the participants in this program. Um, they were saying that it's significantly improved their self-esteem. It's helped to facilitate a connection with country and given them new skills. And we're really pleased with the success of our partnership with Mama Balanjan and the social and environmental benefits that it's provided. Yeah. Um, I'll just talk quickly through this slide. So this basically is an extension of the uh, relationship that we have with Mama Balanjan. We've, we've leased them an additional 200 hectares of land within our P2 reserve uh, <coughs> at, in Broome. Um, this land's being made available for them to uh, grow a commercial quantity of uh, gabinge and other bush tucker fruits. Um, Gabinge is known for its um, high concentration of antioxidants and vitamin C. In fact, one gabinge has about 100 times the vitamin C of that of an orange. Um, so for this reason, demand for the fruit is uh, increasing, yet it still remains in really short supply. Um, it's got significant potential and demand from the uh, pharmaceutical and nutraceutical industry. Um, and the, and the group have actually been working with, or Mama Balanjan have been working with Department of Food Science at the University of Queensland and successfully uh, developed a, uh, a prawn glaze using the gabinge fruit which can extend the shelf life of a prawn for 10 days and up to two years if it's dipped before it's frozen and that recipe's been sold to Coles uh, Queensland. Um, so by making this land available um, yeah, it's obviously creating an opportunity for Mama Balanjan to develop a full, uh, full scale um, commercial crop of gabinge and other bush tucker fruits to meet the increasing demand, both, both nationally and internationally. As a result of our efforts, we've obviously received a lot of um, significant positive media coverage, which has been great. We've got really good feedback from our customers and stakeholders in the Northwest region. We've had some exceptional media coverage, and it's been obviously uh, good for our community.
community reputation and brand and strength and our social license to operate. Um, so to, to sort of finish up, I guess, together with the Lions Club, Mama Lions Club, Mama Belangian and Woonan and the 16 recipients of funding so far through the West Kimberley Community Grant Scheme, um, they've all delivered benefits to the community that wouldn't have been possible without the cooperative effort and willingness by the Water Corporation to think beyond our normal operations and identify ways to leverage existing partnerships for the benefit of the community. Another critical success factor of these projects was the fact that they were aligned with our organisation's vision and values and that we had the support of senior people within our business and our minister. Uh, because these projects are new and unlike anything our organisation has been involved in before, we did initially experience some internal resistance, but it was the support of our senior management that helped us overcome that. Um, so, sorry, I'll finish up this is my last slide. Um, I just wanted to leave you with this quote from um, William Ford, the executive manager of Ford Motor Company. Creating a strong business and building a better world are not conflicting goals. They're both essential ingredients for long-term success. I think our work in the West Kimberley is a, is a good example of this. Um, when we started exploring these projects, our original goal was simply to give something back to the communities in which we operate, ex except we've, we've found that the results have far exceeded our expectations. We've created a new ongoing source of funding for community projects, uh, are supporting projects with Mama Balanjan that provide employment and training outcomes from young, for young Aboriginal people and projects that contribute to social and economic advances for the West Kimberley. And we believe these projects provide uh, a great opportunity for other water utility providers around the country to do the same.